The date of transition is the beginning of the earliest period for which an entity presents full comparative information under FRS 102 in its first financial statements that comply with that standard. For example, if a company's first FRS 102 financial statements are to be prepared at 31st of December 2015, the date of transition would typically be 1st of January 2014. It's therefore the balance sheet as at 31st of December 2013 that will form the basis for the opening figures as at the transition date. In the company's first FRS 102 financial statements, some changes in accounting policies will need to be applied retrospectively to comparative periods, as if the new accounting policy had always been applied. You'll need to provide the necessary disclosures to explain how the transition from the previous financial reporting framework to FRS 102 has affected the reported financial position and financial performance. In this video, I'll show you how to do this in Sage Accounts Production. From the Accounts menu, choose Accounts Database. On this left hand side, you'll see the database groups. These are just collections of similarly themed options. Here's the transition to FRS 102 group. And I'll select this first time adoption option. Now that I've done that, I can enter my FRS 102 adjustments. From the Accounts menu, choose Nominal Codes then Compar. Click FRS 102 Adjustments. Adjustments entered here will only affect the transition to FRS 102 notes, other statutory pages are unaffected. From here you can enter transactions against all your nominal codes for the comparative and pre-comparative years. If you need to make any changes once you've posted these adjustments, you'll need to post a reversing journal. You can see the adjustment on this screen. So now I'll take a look at the transition note. And in this note, you can see the adjustments I've just entered. Thanks for watching.